Hey YouTube, quick video. Um, as mentioned in my last one, we had a uh, broken oil pan bolt. Um, I'm gonna have to drill it out and hopefully I can get the uh, remainder of the bolt out and then just clean up the threads in the hole. Um, not real good video to, to watch me drilling slowly into here, but I just started out with a little eighth inch bit. Until I was able to penetrate clear through to the other side. Now some of these are blind holes. In other words, they don't have an opening on the other side. So you do not want to drill through to the other side. Um, <clears throat> but basically all I'm doing is I'm taking the smallest bit that I have that's sharp enough. Um, using some form of lubricant. In this case, what I had available. Just PB Blaster. Um, just to keep the bit cool and lubricated. Uh, keep the flutes... I guess they're called flutes on the drill clean as you're drilling. Come on, focus. As you're drilling, uh, clean off any shavings as you go. And uh, actually didn't film it, but I broke through to the other side. So next, what I'm going to do is just take the next step up and drill it a little bigger and bigger and bigger until I approach the size of the outside diameter of the bolt. And at that point, we should be uh, we should be good enough for it to come out. Actually. Once I get big enough, I'll probably switch to a left-handed bit. So if there's any grabbing, it may actually just grab the remainder of the bolt and thread it out. So uh, that's what we're doing. Thanks for watching. All right, so I know I just said that uh, drilling through a bolt doesn't make for good video, but I just want to show you once the advantage of stepping up in small steps. Here I've gone up, I, th I think, a sixteenth of an inch. And I know I mentioned that was... Uh, a, a one eighth drill bit, but it was a one sixteenth, I believe. Anyhow, this is just slightly larger than the hole. Got a little bit of lubricant on there, and of course, and make sure you have your bit tight enough because it's going to bite into some metal. The slower you go, the better results you're going to get until that happens so i don't know if this is going to turn out to be a teachable moment about uh cheap drill bits or just sheer luck but uh broken the uh next size bit off in the hole itself and it appears to not be lodged on anything so i'm going to take this magnet and see if i can't become yep and and i am Probably the luckiest person alive right now. Um, there's some more in there, but we'll we'll pick at it a bit. It's not in there tight, so and again, probably doesn't make real good uh, video. So I'll probably just show you the end result. Another thing you can try, since this is not a blind hole, is get a small pick or other device. Just come in from the back side and see if you can't dislodge the tip of that without further damage or breakage um, it's in there it is loose just a matter of getting something on it enough to Okay, YouTube, as you may have seen, just grabbed an old twist tie and stripped it back. Just something semi-solid to push up um, through the hole and uh, dislodge what essentially was just the, uh, if you can see that or not, the tip of the drill bit. The hole has been cleared. Um, I will not be drilling anymore with a cheap set of bits. I'm going to go into work and get my good set of bits and 
finish this off. May film it, may not. Thanks for watching. All right, wanted to bring you back on this. Um, something that happens occasionally, not too often. But uh, I actually was drilling out the bolt and really drilled it out too far because typical things that you can use to uh, extract the bolt actually have to have something to bite onto. Usually doesn't happen this way that you just end up with a little metal sliver in there that you can break loose with a, a screwdriver or you know, basic hand tool, but uh, there you go. I'm just going to work on chiseling this thing a little bit, break it loose of the threads, and then just pull it out with some... Uh, some any extended needle nose pliers and that should be that i'll take a look at the threads i'll probably chase them with a uh, thread chasing tap or whatever i might have and we'll be as good as new as long as the bolt can tighten down to 80 or 90 newton meters or seven and a half foot pounds whatever the spec is we should be golden thank you